using iteration equations in 93 seconds. Let's go. These can be pretty tricky to get our head around, guys. Let's take a look and see what we can do. The question says, given that x0 equals 2 and xn plus 1 equals 2xn minus 1, find x4. What we're going to do is we're going to use our iteration equation to go from one value in our series to the next value. Notice this equation tells us how to get from one value, the nth value, to the next value, the n plus first value. So if n was 1, n plus 1 is going to be 2. In other words, it tells us how to get from the first value to the second value or from the fifth value to the sixth value. It's always going to be the next value because we're just adding 1 to the number which is current. So what are we going to do? First of all, let's write out our x0 equals 2. Then to find x1, what we're going to do is we're going to plug in x0 to our equation up here. x0, that's going to be 2, so we're going to have 2 times by x0, so 2 times by 2, minus 1, 2 times 2 is 4, minus 1, that's going to be 3, so we found the value of x1. Now to find the value of x2, we can plug x1 in. What's that going to give us? Well, we're going to get that x2 is equal to, substituting 3 in, we're going to get 2 times by 3, minus 1, 2 times by 3, that's going to be 6, minus 1, that is going to be 5, so we have x2 as 5. What about x3 then? This time we're going to plug x2 in, x2 is 5, so we're going to have 2 times by 3, 5, and then we're going to take our 1 away, 2 times by 5, that's going to be 10 minus 1, that's going to give us 9, and finally x4, we're going to plug x3 in to find that, so we're going to go 2 times by x3, x3 was 9, so we're going to plug that in, 2 times by 9, close our brackets, minus our 1, what's that going to be? 2 times by 9 is 18, subtract 1 is going to be 17, and that, guys, is going to be how we use our iteration equations to find next values in our series.